Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in Branson, Missouri and I'm going to a place that one of you guys suggested to me. In fact, Peggy, if you are watching this, I am going to the Keter Center. The Keter Center is located on the campus of the College of the Ozarks, also known as Hard Work U. The grounds here are beautiful and as you come onto the college, you get to see amazing fountains, gorgeous shaded areas, and of course, there is the restaurant. So without further ado, we're gonna be checking out the Keter Center. Now the Keter Center is also located in an area that they have a hotel also, so it's just absolutely beautiful. They have a little store here, they have the restaurant, and they have like all of the different hotel amenities. So it's just beautiful and very lodge-like when you walk in. Absolutely gorgeous way to kick off our meal today. I wanna to show you around a little bit and then we'll go eat. As you can see, the store here is vast and there are so many amazing, interesting things that you might not find other places. But one of the things that makes this place a little bit more unique than some of the places that you visit that also have a gift shop, did you see that student-made section? At the College of the Ozarks, not only do you get to go to school and get a quality education, but you also are able to work on campus and that allows you to have access to your education very, very much so at a, a discount. Uh, can you say free, guys? Can you say free? Hard Work U is actually known for their programs that they have here on campus that allow students to do a work study program, which is very, very cool. And so when you see those things, those are handcrafted by the students working on campus so that they can do their college tuition. I think that's just so cool, but there's so many more things to see. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, now that we have looked around just a little bit more, I am not here by myself today. I wanted to be able to sample a few things that are on the menu because I wanted to share more with you guys. So, do you recognize this lady right here? Nomadic Nanny is with me. Hi, she guys. is going to be eating with me today and uh, are we gonna try to find something that we've never had before? We have to. We have to. It's gonna be so we fun. We have to. There are some things that I saw on the menu that are going to uh, definitely be delicious. So That's right. we have to go and uh, make sure they have a table for us. Let's go. Janine, what did you just find? I'm gonna taste the espresso custard. Ooh, and that's all handcrafted here also. Yes. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh my God, creamy. Creamy? Oh, I've gotta try it then. I have it to try coffee, it. It is coffee, coffee, coffee. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, this is about to be yummy, yum. Okay, here we go. It's creamy, right? That is creamy, and I could have woke up with this and been extremely awake and happy. This is exactly is espresso, a, uh, exactly. We went over to the little desk and there's about an hour and a half wait right now. So if you can, make reservations when possible because this place is delicious and good and at the same time, because it's so popular, 
there's sometimes a little bit of a line and that is fine. So what we're going to do right now while we're waiting is dig into a little bit of that espresso and um, wake ourselves up a little bit more. This is gonna be so delightful. We're gonna split one and uh, that'll pass a little bit of time, but it'll also be a good little yummy yummy in my tummy. So um, good call, Shanine, good call. So we're gonna split a scoop, and this again is handcrafted here at the Keter Center by the wonderful students, and this was $5.58. It's a double scoop. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. It's got bunny ears. Oh, it does. It's a little bunny. Okay, guys, so now it's my turn to get into this. Oh, it's so creamy. It's so, so creamy. Look at this. Wow, and I also like the spoons that they have chosen to use out here. I know that that's just a random thing, but I really do like these. They're not the flimsy ones that break, so. Mm. Mm. This literally is our coffee this morning. It's kind of an unconventional way to have your morning coffee, but I would take this any day of the week as my morning coffee. It is that good. Mm. Now, if you can see the coffee grounds, each little tiny burst is literally like you're drinking a cup of coffee in like the most pleasant, delicious way because it's also like a creamy coffee. It's not like just a coffee in a black cup, you know. It, it's got some, it's got some yumminess to it, and it's super sweet and delicious, but not overly sweet. Now, they also had a strawberry one that absolutely looked delightful, and I be believe they have some strawberry chunks in that one. So that would be another fresher option if you don't like the coffee. Okay, guys, we just got our text. Our table is ready, so let's go inside. Visiting the menus are beautiful. So they have this nice copper sheen to them. And this is all just a beautiful depicted scene. And you'll notice that these particular touches are echoed throughout the entirety of the restaurant. For example, above you can see a copper plated ceiling as well using those old copper tiles that are very reminiscent of some of the older buildings around the turn of the century. It's gorgeous, the finishings here. Okay, inside of our menu though is where the real magic happens here. All of these amazing dishes. So you have starters, soups and salads, and then over here, sandwiches, entrees, and drinks. They also have gourmet coffees that are sold here at the Keter Center. But today, because we're gonna be trying out something different, we wanted to try out the Smoky Summer Vegetable Hummus, which is a garlic herbed hummus topped with smoky roasted zucchini, onions, mushroom, cauliflower, and tomatoes. And it's served with a house-made pita. So that's where we're gonna start off for the day. But going through this menu, it makes it a little bit hard because there are some delicious sounds meal options. For example, I really am leaning toward this chicken and smoked mushroom Alfredo. It just sounds so, so delicious. And I will say this, looking online, I saw a little glimpse of what it looked like and it looked just as delicious. But if you're not a pasta person, you can find everything from shrimp and polenta all the way up to meatloaf and chicken fried chicken on this menu. A little bit of everything, lots of good options, and um, there's no real wrong answer, I don't think. Okay, so I really leaned into this Alfredo because it was highly suggested and what's interesting is that I'm not the only one so both of us today will be getting the chicken and smoked mushroom Alfredo it is served with sauteed chicken hickory smoked mushrooms smoked hog gels and Julian onions with pina noodles and a rich Alfredo sauce so this is gonna be delightful while we are waiting to order our food they just brought out some delicious treats now these are the apple butter that you can actually purchase here in the gift shop area. And then they have a regular butter and a strawberry butter. And then it is served with 
What is inside here? Oh my goodness. What is inside here? This is just, oh, it's a variety of different kinds of breads. Wow. I was not expecting a variety. Look at those. Those look delicious. Okay, so we're starting off with the scone and it looks like it has some deliciousness on the inside here. It, it is served apart. piping hot and it just crumbles whenever you open it up. Oh my goodness. This is about to be delightful. Are those cranberries? Cranberries? I think so, yeah. Ooh, so so cranberries inside here, and then we have strawberry and apple butter. Oh, the options are amazing. And what I love about the Keter Center is this is considered to be a, a fine dining experience. So you come out and everything is set. So we have our very own little butter knives here to serve it up. So that is kind of nice also. This is just a fun experience as a whole. Okay, so as you can tell, I am clearly excited about this one. And this is something that is about to be delightful. Now, anything that you like here in the Keter Center when it comes to the condiments and things like that, again, available for sale. So there were a couple things we were eyeing when we were out there, and if they are delicious here, guess what's going into the van with me and, uh, and Nomadic Nanny. Yeah, it's happening in our lives. But I think what I'm gonna do is just Pull this up here so you can get a little bit better look at it. Look at this thing, guys. Look at this. This is a nice size. It's piping hot and delicious. You can see tons of texture in there, all of these cute little nuggets of happiness. And as we tear it apart, ooh. oh, oh, yeah. This is going to be delightful. Now, the mixes, they are also available in the gift shop. So, <laughs> yes. I am going to try out a little bit of the strawberry butter with this. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna get a little slather. Oh, it just cuts straight through. Oh yeah. And then we're going to go in here, spread this around a little bit, and uh, I'll take a bite of this in just a second. I had to take a second because our appetizer just got here. We ordered that hummus tray and it looks delightful. As you can see, that looks yummy yummy in our tummies and uh, we'll be tackling that in just a second. But first, back to business here. Ooh, the strawberry butter. Yes. This by itself is delicious. Let's just start there. When you add the strawberry butter, it just sinks into it and has this very fresh, summery taste to it that is perfect. Now, I do know that a lot of the items that they have here, they do theme based on the season because of availability, because they grow things right here on campus also. So, that is very cool. So this is a great, delicious, amazing way to start our meal today. Okay guys, now it's time for us to take on some hummus. Now, um, somebody already got a little bite and, uh, well, what did you think about your first bite? It's delicious. I think so far, like... There's chunks of chickpeas and... Oh! It's good. It looks delicious. Like, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I want to tackle this. I am a huge hummus fan, so... There's no way to do it but just jump in it. I'm gonna just jump in. Take your pita and just do it. We're gonna get hands-on, guys. Let's get a little hands-on. Okay, so we're gonna grab our little piece of pita here. Ooh, ooh, I love it, love it. Whoop. Set that mushroom on top. It's time for us to take a bite. She said it was good. She said it was good. Ooh. I, I can taste the garlic, guys. I love that. It has a very good texture to it. It's nicely whipped. It does have the crunchiness of occasionally a chickpea, like she was saying, but there is something in here other than just garlic. It's like some kind of herbiness. It's very, very good. Hmm, our plates just arrived and I'm so excited. Uh, the smell of the food is amazing. It is just so full bodied and the portion is 
large and in charge to say the least. This is gonna be delicious. To ask you whenever they come to the table with your food if you would like a fresh cracked pepper and then you can add that to it but it already has this layer of delicious like Parmesan cheese and a little bit of parsley on top. This is again a very large portion so I can already see this is probably going to be a box kind of day for me but at the same time it is time for us to dig in and taste some of this creamy goodness and uh i am so so intrigued so this is our portion size again very big i have my cell phone sitting next to it just kind of for a reference plate is massive now i think that the thing i'm most intrigued about is this cream sauce right here this is just like a glorious texture of cream sauce and there's these massive mushrooms that are just kind of floating in this creamy bath of deliciousness so i think i'm going to put together the perfect bite and then we'll give it a shot to see what we think overall oh it's just so so yummy look at that oh and then a little bit of cheese that just comes up from the bottom yeah this is this is a good cream sauce guys normally i would just take a little dip but you know we're just gonna try the actual bites mmm mm. oh the mushrooms a lot of times whenever you get mushrooms within a pasta they've overcooked the mushrooms and they just become a certain texture that's not as pleasing this still has the integrity of the mushrooms when you bite into it it's a nice it's a nice meaty bite still so very very good the cream sauce is nice and gentle and so it's not overpowering it doesn't taste like super extra parmesan -y. sometimes that happens also with the cream sauce this is perfect now i'm going to try to get a little piece of this pork gel in here along with a little bit of our cream sauce and bacon mm. oh the pork it makes it taste like there's bacon that is excellent it has a little bit of saltiness to it not too much though so whenever you have the cream sauce and the subtleties of it along with that little bit of salt it really balances it out so it truly does make the perfect bite now you guys i love a good pasta moment but um i'm going to especially appreciate this one because this is so well done i am very pleased that i got this now again i'm not the only one who got this though let's get a, a couple of other ideas here um let's interrupt somebody's meal shall we i think we should yes okay what do you think it's delicious are you happy that you got this specifically yes and you can <laughs> taste you can taste the smoke absolutely of the hog jowl and i can say i probably never had hog jowl I'm, I'm really impressed by it it does you're right you said it has like a bacony flavor to it it, it totally reminds so me of bacon very much so it's just really really yummy and the sauce is done so well mm -hmm. it's creamy but it's not overpowering but you can tell it's made with this real shaved parmesan cheese absolutely and a it's, little bit of hard work you love yeah <laughs> these kids have done a great job absolutely okay guys now that you have heard not only my word but her word i am going to get to my food because it is just well i don't want it to get cold it's so good so i will check back with you guys in just a few minutes to kind of give some final thoughts and while i'm finishing this up take a look around Guys, so we went ahead and got boxes because the food here was large and in charge and absolutely delicious and we don't want to miss out on eating the rest of it. But also at the end of the meal, look at this. This is a beautiful way to have a finishing touch on the meal. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. 
This is one of those delicious soft mints that as soon as you bite into it, it just like melts into your mouth. Mm. This is the ultimate palate cleanser finisher like ever. This is delicious. And um, now I'm just gonna have to come back here again because now that I know that the menu is so good, I will return. And, um, mm -hmm. okay guys, we just finished up with our amazing meal and oh my goodness, I am so full. The portion sizes were large, the food was delicious, all of the handcrafted items here were so, so delightful. And again, I would like to say a big, huge whopping thank you to Peggy because you were right. I loved everything. The experience here is amazing, it's unique, and it's very much so a part of the Ozark experience. When you come in, you get to see the little touches, like the original photos of the college and some of the students. You get to see all of the unique little tiny things, like the copper on both the ceiling and the menu. It's just gorgeous to see the dining room itself, the food, delightful, the staff, wonderful, and this was such a pleasing, amazing, wonderful experience here in the Branson area. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed coming along with me today to the Keter Center here in Branson, make sure that you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and check out all of my Branson playlists where I not only have a ton of restaurants here in the area, but some other cool places that you might be interested in. I'm taking this bag and I am getting on the road for our next adventure. Remember guys, we are not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time, and places like this are definitely absolutely delightful. They're a wonderful way to spend some time here in the Ozarks. Till next time guys, bye!